Good afternoon, I'm Jeff on the Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 8317 Southeast Hole Avenue here in Milwaukee. We're located at the right side of the home, right at the, the right front corner of the house. We're kind of looking at the sun here, I apologize, but anyway, that's the planter box here at the front of the house. And just around the corner, we have a 3 inch ABS clean out. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We're going to introduce some water to the line here in just a moment. Here we go. It's transitioning here at 20 feet. Looks like over to the concrete pipe. And then right here, about 57 feet out, it appears we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to do locates real quick to verify that we're out in the street. And then we'll let the line drain out completely here. We do have some more water coming down the line. All right, I did locate the camera head successfully out at the main lateral on Southeast Hole Avenue. It's had a little bit of water still trickling through there. We're going to go ahead and start rolling back here in just a second. Now this product appears to be transite concrete, not your standard aggregate concrete. Now the difference is aggregate concrete has a rock and mortar mix, so, like a lot of driveways are. Uh, this, instead of having aggregate rock in it, has asbestos fibers. And it causes the, it, it, it makes for a very, very superior product to regular concrete. It holds up a long time. So the line is going down here, and it looks like Y connecting onto something. Um, I don't know what that Y connection is exactly. I'm going to try and figure it out. It's possibly a rain drain connection. I'm going to try and pour some water down the um, downspouts here. See, but we, uh, we do have a very minor, consistent trickle here, and I don't believe anyone's home. I'm, all, I'm doing all my water from the outside here with the hose. So... Anyway, I don't know if that's rain drain downspout here that's kind of keeping the trickle going or some other sewer line that's coming out. That's 25 feet out. Um, and, I, and I suppose it's possible it could be some kind of party line too. I, so if we can't figure that out with the rain, I'm going to dump some water down the downspout here at the front right corner. If we don't see it come gushing through there, uh, I would recommend contacting the city to see if they know what that is. Alrighty, I am dumping the water right now. 
and we should see that flow pick up quite a bit if that's connected in. We'll give this about another 30 seconds here to wind its way out there, but that's only about 25 feet out from this spot here. The downspout I'm pouring the water into is only about a foot away from the sewer cleanout. And it doesn't mean that Y connection is necessarily connected to this downspout. Sometimes you'll have downspouts going a myriad of different directions. But I just dumped an entire two liter bottle down the downspout there in about the span of five seconds. So we'd see a lot of water moving through there at this point if if they were connected. But So we do have a steady stream of water there. I, again, not sure what that's coming from. So um, I would contact the city to see if they can find out. I'll, uh, I'll go locate this spot here or, and I'll try and put a marking by it. And that could be something like a, a test T or, or, or test Y or something like that too from when it was built. Okay, I put a white or a uh, Y marking here in the front yard area. The line does end up going under the under the grass. And I have put a marking there. And I would recommend trying to figure out what that is. There's possibly another line coming out of the house tying in there too, so. Uh, it's possible the seller may know what that line there is. It looks like we still have water flow. So what we may have here is a leaky toilet flapper or something like that. The water flow thing is not so much my concern as just what that, that Y there is. And it is right at a transition from... Right, yeah, right at the transition from ABS there to concrete. Uh, it's a pretty common spot where you, you would put a test Y in. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera out here. We have good flow all the way out to the main. The ABS and concrete portions of the line are, are both in good condition. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time. And the reason the counter is off right now, and it says four feet there instead of zero, is because I had to move the reel around. <laughs> Now the one thing I would uh, look into is the Y connection, which is right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right at the uh, front left corner where the sun is shining on the corner of the grass there. It's right about that spot. And quite deep. It's down there around seven feet. It does a hard dive right there. So Anyway, just double check into what that is. Apart from that, the line's in good shape and functioning properly.